Hello chess lovers, Sonnet here and in today's video I want to share with you another fantastic game from the ongoing 2021 FIDE World Cup. On the white side is Indian chess grandmaster Baskaran Adibon and Cuban Paraguayan chess grandmaster Neuris Delgado Ramirez is playing with the black pieces. This is game 1 of round 2 and Adibon who had white pieces opened up with d4, knight f6 by Delgado Ramirez, c4 e6, knight c3 bishop b4, the good old Nimzo Indian defense is on the board against which white is choosing the aggressive Kmok variation. With f3 white now wants to establish a massive pawn center. d5 a3, bishop takes c3, b takes c3, c6, e4. E4 is actually a very aggressive move which can be seen rarely. Usually white is preferring a more quiet E3 or Queen C2 followed by E4 for example. But in this game we see E4 and time will show that this E4 is actually a very venomous move and it requires an utmost precision from black side. D takes e4, f takes e4, e5. We can see that Delgado Ramirez didn't dare to accept the pawn sacrifice. In case of a pawn sacrifice, let's take a look what can happen. White can either play bishop d3 or queen g4. Bishop d3 is also very strong, you know. In this case, white can unleash a very dangerous kingside attack. A similar position we are going to see in our game. And by the way, as you may have noticed, queen h4 check doesn't work in the end of the day, white has this knight f3 move. Let's go back to our main game. So after f takes e4 we see e5 answer, knight f3, queen a5, bishop d2, knight takes e4. Finally, black is accepting the pawn sacrifice. Bishop d3, knight takes d2, queen takes d2, e takes d4. So far so good, but on move 12 already, Delgado Ramirez is making a mistake. At this point, it was better either to castle kingside or play bishop e6. Seems like that bishop e6 gives, gives black better chances. In the game, we see it takes d4, and now let's see what's the problem with it. Here, Adiban castled kingside. And in return, black also hurried to move away his king from the center. Let me tell you that a move like queen takes c3 is not good. This queen e2 check can create too many problems for black. In the game after castling, we also see castling by black. And there followed knight g5. Already black is in trouble. White has already developed all his pieces. They are eyeballing at black's king side, while still, black needs to solve the development of the queen side pieces, which are concentrated, yes, on the queen side, and black king is defenseless. We have a target on h7, f5, and c5. c5 is a very subtle and strong move with which white is opening up the a to g8 diagonal. At any moment, both bishop c4 check or queen a2 check can allow white to target opponent's king. For example, if queen takes c5, then queen a2 check. In the game after c5, we see king h8 and queen e2. White now wants to transfer his queen on h5 square. Knight d7, and there we have it, we reached the critical position. Please pause the video and try to find Adiban's next move. Ready? Well, everything is ready to land a heavy punch and here we go, knight takes h7 is on the board. Uh, in case of a queen h5, black could neutralize white's attack with knight f6, that's why we see a brilliant knight takes h7 sacrifice. The knight is untouchable because of this check, and then bishop c4 check, yeah, and then black king is just getting checkmated. In the game after knight takes h7, we see d takes c3, right? Uh, but anyways, queen h5 followed. Queen takes c5, check, king h1. In this game, black was busy with munching pawns and now will pay a very high price for it. White is now threatening a checkmate, right? That's why black played king g8 and the pawn on f5 also dropped. Queen d5, knight g5 with a direct mating threat. 
knight f6 yeah and with his next move Adiban forced a resignation can you find his next move ready well on move to nt2 we see a queen sacrifice how do you like this beauty guys black resigned if knight takes h7 then bishop takes h7 followed by rook takes f8 and then a checkmate will follow that's why yeah after this brilliant queen sacrifice like capitulated a very aggressive and impressive game which i hope that you enjoyed greatly and by the way i think that if you are facing nimzo indian defense uh, you should pay attention to this kmoch variation starting with f3 it can actually create a problem for black and from black side also knowing how to handle this variation can be very useful in the end, a chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.